Jesus is coming. Are you ready for the coming of Jesus? We shouldn't just be relaxing to say when is rapture coming. But one thing we need to know is each time we hear of someone dying, we have to ask ourselves, has this person died in Christ? If you are under the sound of my voice right now, just know your light has come and your life will never be the same. Without wasting much of your time, let us lead the word for today. We are going to lead Ezra chapter 3 verse 4b. Ezra chapter 3 verse 4b. The Bible says, They celebrated the festival of tabernacles with the required number of burnt offerings prescribed for each day. I want you to underline prescribed for each day. A prescription in this context is a plan to carry out something each day for the set period. For this set period, the Israelites had a plan spelled out on how they will spend each day. It means they were living each day on purpose, prescribed activities in order to achieve something. If we want to be successful in this life, then we need to take advantage of the little time we have. In the text we have read, the goal for the Israelites was to successfully celebrate a yearly festival. And for this to happen, activities were spelled out, planned out, or prescribed for each day. In what season of the year are you? What has the Alpha and Omega of your life instructed you to do? And why are you here on earth for? If your goal as a student is to pass your exams, what activities have you planned out on daily basis to achieve this? And if your goal as a Christian is to grow spiritually, what daily activities have you planned out? If your goal as a pastor is to plant a church, what is your daily prescription of activities? If your personal goal is to be debt free and become financially stable, what are you going to do each day to be successful? Take note of this. A win by the end of the year blossoms out of the desire to win each day. A focus on maximizing your daily 24 hours. Every man's life is in seasons and times. And until you are able to figure out your season, times and daily activities will be disordered. Your season is like the goal and the times being your objectives. No matter how good an objective is, 
if it's out of season or does not achieve your current goal, then it must be removed. You must know your season. Is it your planting season? Then stop eating your seed by pretending to be in your harvest time. When we read the Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, as well as verse 10, the Bible says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. And in verse 10, the Bible says, I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. My question to you is, what are you supposed to be occupied with? That's your season and purpose. What is your daily prescription of activities to fulfill your purpose? Unless you have this spelled out, then you are not ready to grow and be successful. You do not have all the time to do everything. You must spend your time only on the things that lead you to your purpose and season. Making the most out of your time is our text for today. And my question to you is, how are you managing your time? You can recover almost everything whilst still alive here on earth, except time. You are 24 hours past, is gone for good. You must maximize your efficiency with the time by setting your daily goals based on what you are currently being asked to do by your Creator. God desires us to be productive here on earth, and one of the strategies He wants us to use is to be mindful of the time allocated to our life. We must be good stewards of time by making every unit of it count. We can learn something from the camp of an enemy when we read Proverbs chapter 4 verse 16. The Bible says, For they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. What does it mean? It means your enemy, the devil, will not sleep until your promotion is stopped. It means your enemy, the devil, will not sleep until your contract has been hindered or terminated. Will not sleep until your relationship goes sour. Your enemy, the devil, will not sleep until your marriage plans have been stopped. Your enemy, Satan, will not sleep until your marriage ends in divorce. My question to you is, what do you have on your daily agenda that you will not sleep until it is done? Success emerges from all our activities before a daily sleep. 
what have you spelled out to do before you sleep each and every day? You are what you do in each 24 hours given. If you knew the length of time you have to fulfill your purpose here on earth, some of you could not be sleeping the way you do. Reading the Bible in Psalms 39 verse 4, the Bible says, Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. This must be your prayer. Your life is so brief for you to do everything. You must focus. The same brief moment you have to live here on earth, you want to be sleeping the whole day. Are you sure? May the good Lord show you how brief your moment is here on earth and how huge your assignment is in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to leave you with this exercise based on your current season or what you intend to do. You must light something that I will not sleep until the following have been done. You must list them and be committed to achieve them each and every day. That's the way to glow and climb higher. You are root to success. God bless you as you take a step into maximizing your daily usage of time. Be fruitful in Jesus' name.